Hello, hello. So we have today a, uh, a set of Kickstarter games. It was a three pack. They're all from Oink Games. It's Doko Jong, In a Grove, and Moon Adventure, which is the special edition. Uh, yeah, they did Oink Games, which is a company I really love out of Japan. Uh, they do these very, very small games. They're like, what is this, like five ish inches long? They're all the same size box. I actually have another one here. Never mind, that's, that's tucked further away. I don't know where it's at. But these are Oink Games, and they did a Kickstarter for this three pack. Uh, these are pretty much the Japanese versions, although I believe it should have the English instructions. Hopefully. If not, I'll look up a translation. But yeah, I'm going to do all three of these since they came in a set. So let's start left to right. We'll go with Dokojong, which is a game about dogs. We have five very special dogs here, and uh, I can kind of, I can kind of read the some of this. Um, I've been learning hiragana, so that's that's no. I know that for sure. That's na. Uh, that's washi. Washi ga go. Uh, I don't know that one as well. And that's ru. Washi, ru, something. I know. It's it's hard to remember. It's a whole new language, but I'm 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 learning. I'm learning. So yeah, uh looks like Ah, here we go. 20 minutes, two to five players, nine plus. Designed by Jun Sasaki and Shunya Shiina. Alright. Let's see. Huh. Wonder what that's for. <laughs> I have no idea. Um okay. Japanese rules. English rules, yes. Okay, they do come with English rules, thankfully. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the, like, accordion-style rule like this, but I'll accept it, you know. It's it's not the worst. Um, okay. These look like little reference... Yeah, reference cards. Nice. Five of them. Love it. Love some reference cards. And then we got a bunch of cardboard pieces. Ooh, big old paw. It, ooh, I like the colors that we have going on there. Various doors. I think these are like victory points going with the olive leaf there. Another dog. Then we have these, which I think fold or snap. I'm not gonna do that without finding out first, so put those there. And then we have the dog tiles. They're kind of like mahjong tiles. Nice chunky plastic tiles. And it's like, yeah, it's kind of like an old maid thing, I think, where you have one that's a dog and the rest are X's and you kind of kind of guess as you go. Nice. Yeah, those pieces are very, very nice. Uh, they're a little scuffed looking. That's fine. I don't mind a little bit of scuffing on plastic because it's it gives a character. It can be annoying when it's on like a card or something because then it's like, well, I know which card's which. And I guess you could do that with this as well since uh, it is a guessing kind of game. But it's not too bad. All right. Yeah, these these are really nice cardboard pieces. Like they're the they're the kind of a matte finish. They're they're really nice and thick and sturdy. Yeah, having the action cards is very helpful. Having all of this. And then whatever this is, does it say in English on the back? No. It's that's mostly kanji. Yeah, I don't know any kanji yet. Or maybe that's katakana. Ah. Part of it's katakana. Part of it is kanji. Part of it is hiragana. It's all the thing. Ah. Didn't close it all the way. This is a big thing with the Oink games is getting them to actually close correctly. Pretty difficult, but they're small enough that it doesn't matter that much. Oink games. All right. That's Dokojong. Nice little pieces there. Definitely, definitely enjoy that. Now we have In a Grove, which is a murder mystery game. Uh, that one, I know that one. That's no. No. Na. Ze, na ze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one I know. Kui chi. Kui chi. Something. Uh, I don't know. I do really love this color blue as well. It's very nice. Oh, some fell out. Uh, another one of these. Probably use the Google Translate app on that later. Then we have the rules again. About the same length. Nice. And I love the uh, the little guys they have as the example players in this. All right. 
Oh yeah, right. They said this on the Kickstarter. This one's like all plastic, like thick plastic piece. Of, ooh, very nice magenta. Magenta is my favorite color. Yeah, it's all plastic bits here. And we have these. Ooh, wow. These really nice hefty pieces. Like that's that's really solid. Really thick, heavy plastic. Very pleasant. And then yeah, we have all the numbers, looks like. Three, oh, five. Must have some kind of special thing. And two X ones. Yeah, those are very long. Which seems a little odd. Do they slot into each other? No. Ah, that's a little disappointing. That's fine. Yeah, these pieces are very nice. Oh, that cannot go like that. Very nice, hefty plastic pieces. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, dropped something. I got it. Green one there. Get all of this back in. Let's see if I see if I won the challenge. The way he shut up and sit down put it is uh, every game comes with a special mini game of trying to fit everything back into the box correctly. Perfect. I did it that time. Got it. All right. And now the final one. Moon Adventure. Moon Adventure. Sorry, I was had to line it up. Um, also by June Sasaki. In fact, these are all by June Sasaki and this one's just Jun Sasaki. Last one was by two people. This one is just by Jun Sasaki again. This one is the sequel to Deep Sea Adventure, which was the really one of the really popular Oink games. The other big one was uh, Fake Artist Goes to New York. My personal favorite is Startups, which is like a kind of bluffing game, set collection kind of thing. Really enjoy it. And this is a special edition that is themed around a manga called some some uh, I don't remember I haven't read it yet but I'm interested and yeah that's a nice little plastic sleeve and this one this one's more co-op the other one's just like push your luck competitive but this is like a co-op kind of game where you're trying to go and do stuff on the moon ooh speaking of the moon ah oh, that's very very packed ooh oh boy Oh, these are very... Oh! Oh, these ones actually have, like, the staples, because they're... Yeah, these are long instructions. This is, this is a more complicated one. Yeah, a lot, very much more complicated one. Um... Hmm. Looks fun. I mean, Deep Sea Adventure is supposed to be fun, and generally around here we prefer something cooperative. Special Edition! Yeah, it, sa it says... Ah, there it is on the other side. Special edition, additional roll cards. Space Brothers, that's what the name of the manga is. So it's a Space Brothers special edition. Comes with a lot of rolls. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, like ten? Ten rolls? Wow. Nice. Lots of content. Let's get the actual pieces out. We got... Space base. These are like, I'm pretty sure you like travel, you like make a line and then you travel along it as you go. Uh, oh wow. A baggie full of cubes and other such that we got cubes, little spacemen. Uh, oh, the rover that the spacemen go into. How's it fit? Oh yeah. Nice, perfect little slide. Little yellow cubes. Other space guys. <gasps> little robot. Little robot man. Uh-oh, I dropped a cube. Ah! I'm all butter fingered. But butter butter fingers. Robot. And then a little wooden dice. Ooh, which are... Ooh! Now that is a very nice finish on those. It feels... A very polished, like kind of stain wax kind of thing. Nice. Yeah. And then, oh, we have even more in here. Looks like. Yeah. Okay, those are the roll cards, which are really nice and thick. 
That's good. And then... A little deck of cards. Which are probably the same quality. And it doesn't have a tear strip, so I'm not gonna... Subject y'all to going through that, but yeah. Has... Little reference cards and everything. Nice! Wow, this is a lot. For such a tiny, tiny box. Like... They fit so much in here. My goodness. Let me see if I can even get it all back in. Uh, dice were first. Ah! In the bag. In the bag. That. Then we'll put... Generally, you go biggest pieces, then smaller pieces, so that the small pieces can fill in the gaps the bigger pieces missed. At least that's how I do it. Roll it out flat. Oh no, there's no hole, so I gotta get rid of all the air so they can go in as flat as possible. And then we get all these back in. all of the manuals back in, close her up, and slip this back on. Come on, come on. There we go. Two for, t two for three. I'll accept that. That's pretty good. So yeah, that is the three Oink games that I have gone from this Kickstarter. And they're like 20-ish bucks each. I don't know when they're going to go to retail. Probably not until like the end of summer since they weren't expecting to get these out until August. But yeah, they look very fun. Uh, Oink games can be hit or miss. So if I had to guess, I'd say Mood Adventure is probably going to be the most fun. Doko Jong might be kind of throw off, but not too bad. In a Grove, real wild card. I have no idea. But that's just my guesses. You know, they could all be great. They could all be terrible. They could be, you know, hidden gems or bunch of guff who knows apologies people are having yard work done across the street i don't know if you can even hear that but um yeah that's everything you get i am happy to have them so hopefully this lets you know if you want to get them check out my other board game unboxings check out any of my other board game videos check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash IggyKid. I play a lot of uh, different tabletop games on there. Check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash IggyDKid. I uh, just do a bunch of stuff on there. So I'd appreciate if you check all those out. Like, subscribe, notification bell, all that stuff. Oh, my camera just died. Well, that's fine. I'm done. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Have fun playing whatever games you play. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.